So there's been a lot of talk this season with Jordan Love being up there close to the most touchdown passes in the NFL, but also leading in interceptions as well. And there was a discussion on first things first on FS1 yesterday. And former Packer wide receiver Greg Jennings gave his thoughts on whether this is something or whether this is nothing. Here it is from Greg Jennings. I definitely think it's something. Obviously, he's been great when you just look at one side of it, touchdown machine, uh, getting the offense, opening up playbook, getting everyone involved. But it's also something with the interceptions. And we can gloss over it all we want to, but it, it's what bit them last playoff season. And right. it almost killed them yesterday like, in a game their defense played perfect. And it killed them against the Vikings. Like, and so, like, we, it's, it's great when you, find, when you still find a way to win. And he's been playing good enough to where they can still be in position to win. But th it all is something. The 15 touchdowns, the eight interceptions, it's all something to watch. All right, so okay, so I, I pretty much agree there with what Greg Jennings had to say. You don't want to see Jordan Love throwing all these interceptions. If he didn't throw those two yesterday, then the Packers would have been in a much better situation. No doubt about that. At the same time, as we've talked about, his Jordan Love's, you know, high risk, high reward is what has gotten him some of these touchdown passes. That one to Tucker Craft basically went through the defender's hands. That one could have almost been intercepted. He almost threw a pick on the first play of the final drive. And so you don't want to see Love throwing all these interceptions. Um, at the same time, it's awesome that he's, you know, throwing a ton of touchdown passes as well. And so he's sort of just on both sides of the spectrum, tons of touchdowns, a lot of interceptions. And the thing is, Sometimes it's going to work out. Sometimes it's not going to work out. This past week, it worked out. It was this close to being a um, you know, a game where if on that first pass, it gets deflected. If that defender was slightly closer to the ball, then the game would be over. And we'd be talking a lot more about Jordan Love and throwing interceptions in big moments of games like he did in the 49ers game. And so uh, you don't want, always want to play the what if game, but it definitely is a problem. And when it comes to these late game situations... If it continues to, to be like this for Love, then um, we're probably going to have some moments where you know he ends off a game with interceptions, and sometimes he's going to end up winning the game with a nice a nice drive like he did this past week. So, uh, do I think it's the end of the world? Definitely not. And even looking, you know, at at uh, the Packers, and we talked about Brett Favre, Jordan Love. I was looking at total game winning drives in their careers, and of course, Brett Favre threw a lot more interceptions than. Aaron Rodgers and was a completely different type quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. But Brett Favre does have more game-winning drives than Rodgers. Brett Favre is 43 and Aaron Rodgers has 32. So it's not like Jordan Love can't be a successful quarterback even if he has a somewhat somewhat of an interception issue. I do not think it's the end of the world, but um, I don't agree that it's nothing. I, I sort of agree with, with uh, Greg Jennings that... You know, it, it is important. You, you don't want to throw these picks. And Jordan Love, obviously, he he, ma he made it clear after the game that he needs to clean up his interceptions. But also, it's not going to stop him from being aggressive. And that's the thing I like about Love is when he does throw picks, he doesn't come out concerned and worried and start playing it easy. Because you don't want Jordan Love out there not playing and, and taking risks. Because you don't want him to be, you know, a check down merchant out there just throwing check downs all day long because he doesn't want to throw a pick. Uh, there are lots of quarterbacks who can be good at not throwing picks, but they also don't throw any touchdowns. So um, you, you sort of hope that he can sort of bring those interceptions down a little bit while still keeping his production there when it comes to touchdowns. And can he do it? I think so. We saw him do it at the end of last season. So um, I am not really worried about this. I think that it's something that could be a problem at times, but Jordan Love is playing at a top tier level. And if he can just hone in the interceptions just a little bit, just throw one a game instead of two, the Packers I think will be completely fine, especially with the way that their defense has been playing. But if you guys want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.